The Cal Pollock Women of Men's basketball team started its season Saturday with a victory over Notre Dame de la Mer in the newly renovated Kellogg Gym. First half, both teams struggled offensively, shooting a combined 0 for 5 in the first two minutes of the game. It was Bronco guard Mitchell Anderson who ended the game's offensive drought by draining a contested three-point shot. The Broncos had 10 steals in the game, and here's one of them. Sophomore guard Terrence Risdom intercepts the Lynchman pass and takes it to the basket for two. Here's some more Bronco defense. Senior guard Tyler Frick makes a nice move to the basket but has his shot rejected by senior forward Tyquan Brown. Second half, Broncos up 31-22. The Argonauts go on a run starting with Aaron Mullet's fadeaway jumper. He's fouled and completes the three-point play. 33-25 Broncos, Tyler Frick takes it strong to the basket cutting the deficit down to six. Moments later, more Frick. He's fouled on the play and makes only one of the two free throws. The deficit is now five. On the next play, Eric Bell recovers a Bronco turnover, passing it to Aaron Mullet, who takes it up strong, bringing the Argonauts to within three points of the Broncos. But Cal Poly Pomona would hold off the run and pull away to a 57-48 victory, ending with this Terrence Drisden dunk. Here's Bronco head coach Greg Kamansky talking about his team's victory. You know, we knew it. usually first games of the year are, are a struggle offensively uh, for us. Guys are trying to do the right thing and, you know, just getting acclimated to each other and learning to play a new system. And, and defensively even, too, I, I think usually early in the year it's tough for us because it's a way different system than most of these guys have ever done before. Um, but today I was proud of our defensive effort. You know, Matt – led us and Terrence did a great job out there defensively, got some steals and created havoc for him. And, and I told him defense is going to win us games early in the year, and today it did. This is Kirk Hemmings reporting for the Poly Post.